I need peace, I need love, I need everything that's coming from above. I need peace, I need love, I need everything that's coming from above. I want my dog, ay. birds of a feather, we gon' fly together. Ayy, we gon' ride forever like it's heavy metal. I ain't Christopher Columbus, I would never settle. I ain't Lewis, I ain't Clark, I would never settle. Uh God told me I'm Olympic, for real. Uh ayy, see the kingdom, why you simpin', for real? Yo, yo, big dog in the house. What's happening, yo? Well, people were requesting me make a little bit more videos. Since, like I always mention, I don't make videos about stuff, only about RVing and stuff. But, I'll make an exception. So, look what you see behind me. <sighs> There's been a mission with this thing behind me. I'll show you. I have assembled and disassembled and assembled and disassembled this thing a thousand times trying to figure out uh, 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 a yard, a working yard. And I've done all kinds of stuff. I've changed it. I've done. I want to be able to run two trains. One that will do the loop, and if I wanted to, I uh, can come on this rail too. But I also want a where I could control another locomotive and do the working. Picking up cars, taking them to get them unloaded. Well, you know, a working yard. That's what I'm trying to create as I'll have another train running around. So, that, you know, thing won't get boring. So, man... And I'm about to change it again. I just don't... Something about... Uh, I don't know. I might change the middle up a little bit. Because then... If... Uh, I want to be able to connect a connector here. Where I could stop... This electricity and control this system with another controller and just control that and then whenever I want to put the train on this rail I just connect it back and put electricity and let it connect there so the reason I do that because since you can't run two trains on one control box unless you go into DCC and uh, that's another this is just more DC I have uh, this controller and I have so much junk, guys. Thanks to Frank and Tammy. <laughs> I have uh, a couple other uh, controllers. So I want to be able to have two controllers here. One control for this, for the one I want to be running all the time in the loop and occasionally use this track. I will connect to this track. And I'm be able to use that to go around, and it goes back on the main on the main rail. I want to be able. I want to be able to disconnect the power there. Disconnect the power here, and disconnect the power there, so I could use my second controller and use this to run the second engine. Now, if you go into DCC, which this train here is DCC comparable, DCC comparable, and I don't remember which one of these two is DCC comparable. Um, in other words, when it's DCC, the DCC controller, it's one, it's a different type of controller. It's one big controller here. You could connect, you could run Three trains, four trains, five trains, all simultaneous. You can control each train. But uh, I'm not really into that 
I, I I have a DCC controller, but I'm not ready for it yet. Um, I want to be able to set this thing all up. Well, anyway, that's my goal, and I still got to do research. This is all new to me. I haven't done this since I was a kid, not to this extreme. All these houses and other structures are donated by Frank and Tammy. I, 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 I. Because of them, now I got this. Uh, um, um, I love them anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, what I was gonna say, um, so you see this now, it doesn't look really, you know, set up, but once you start putting in the uh, foliage, the grass, the dirt, the ballast for the rails. And, and 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 this is a long this is you know so once you have your setup and you're in love with what you got right now once you set it up and you start doing your ballast and you start uh ballast are those little the the little rocks so people that don't know and some people know you ballast this so in future videos i'll be doing all that stuff this is on you to me so i got a whole plywood and then I have a foam on top. Foam is good if I want to do cuts and stuff and, and make this. Anyway, so that's my mission, guys. So I got a whole town. So, I'm, you know, I got to figure out what I got. I got the, I got the church, you know. Got to gotta have a church. So, you know, it has everything in here. So, like I said, this is all new to me. Um... I gotta add more stuff there. I love the details on these buildings, man. Look at the details. This shit looks so real. And then if you get that paint and you do touch ups and you put moss and stuff on the on the on the walls, it starts looking more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. I like this part of it. I wanna if I make another extension, I wanna make a junkyard from here. If I if if I do an extension from here, let's say uh, uh, a four by uh, a four by four piece here or a four by five piece, I'll make a junkyard with that. That that that'd be nice. That's in a future 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 project. So so guys, you know I got this, and uh, you know I ain't gonna be doing much traveling. Uh, but you know. In my free time, nothing to do, keep my mind. Uh, like a lot of you guys know, I'm, I have my, my nephew living with me. Uh, I have custody of him, and uh, I feel a little daunting sometimes. Well, anyway, so that's what I got, guys. And uh, let me show you, uh, it's feeding time for my tortoise. Let me... Uh, I have a mess in the kitchen. I have a mess in the house. So much junk. It's unbelievable. I started with nothing. <laughs> Look at all this stuff you could accumulate in one year and a couple months. One year and two months, I believe. Look at all the stuff you could accumulate. And that came from living in an RV. I ain't had that much stuff in there. It's funny, man. The life is funny. Let me show you uh, my process of uh, taking care of my uh, tortoise. So, uh, I call him Bubba for now. Don't know what it, we well, don't know what the tortoise, the of tortoises are hard because they're all the same, identical, the female and male identical. They usually, you can tell by the, you could usually tell them apart by the tail. I think the longer the tail, uh, it's a male and short tails are females, but on cicada tortoises, uh, they're identical and they all, it takes about 15 years so you can figure out if it's a male or female, so you, so you name them by, by chance. So I'm calling him Bubba for now. And uh, he's just chilling. I cut up some spring greens. I, uh, I have, this is a calcium uh, rock. And uh, what I do is, uh, I just, Powder stuff. They need their calcium. So this is what it's looking like. And 
Ask Bubba. So this is in his enclosure. And uh, I have it here because during the morning time, it's about 30. During the morning time, he'll have the sun here on this side. And uh, he'll come and uh, soak up some sun. Then in the afternoon, the sun is about here. So I have that stone there, that rock, and you'll perch on that or whatever it's called and he'll soak up the sun but he hangs out over here this doesn't lift so let's close it up but uh, I hope you guys like these videos <laughs> it's all new to me you know making these not new to me but Anyway. Yep. Yeah. So, and then the birds are okay. I only got three left, three boys, and I haven't born no girls out. Uh, pretty soon I'll buy the girls and then I start all over again with the breeding process. And, uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's uh, that's my day. So I'm gonna go back into this. I might change it around. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is. In, I can't wait to start putting in the uh, the uh, the grass and the dirt and, and all the stuff that comes to it, and it starts. It starts form, forming and getting shape and starting to get more realistic. But, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Well, Roxy's knocked out. Uh, she's right there. Maybe you see her, maybe not. She's knocked out. A little more stuff. Turn that room to office slash my bedroom. I still gotta organize a little bit. Mm -hmm. I still gotta organize a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, man. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of stuff. I don't, I ain't got nothing else to do now. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this stuff. And I'll continue making the video. Or I'll make this probably little series on the construction thing here. See what, what, what happens. See how far I could go with this. I don't know. Gives me something to do. And, uh, yeah. Gives me something to do. All right, buddies. All right, guys. Take care. And see you on the next one. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Uh, let's start making some more videos. Get motivated. You know? Figure this out. Figure this out. Uh, to, if I get this video out today, tomorrow, I have a doctor's appointment um, with my oncologist. So I believe they're going to do the... Um, labs i'm gonna take blood he's gonna talk to me uh he's probably gonna set up to do the uh the next scan which is probably in a week or two i'm assuming this and usually i'm right i already know his system so depending on the results that come back from the labs and the scan then i got the okay then they're gonna remove this port. So that's another procedure. I still have that port. 
So that's what's going on with me. And uh, all right, guys, to the next one. Peace.